What a beautiful day it is today for all of us to celebrate. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, all of our faculty, administrators, and staff, I would like to welcome our honored guests, our parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, and family friends to the class of 2016's commencement exercise. Many of you have been on campus over the years, but for some of you, this is your first time being here, and we're glad that you made it. Today is a very significant day in the lives of each of the graduates, all of the people under this tent that have supported them, and for myself and my family. The graduates have had many accomplishments that have been recognized over the last few days. My family's relationship with the Mount began over 40 years ago. But there are some people underneath this tent whose relationship for the Mount, with the Mount, goes back even longer than that time. And for all of their efforts and for that tradition and history, we thank you. 40 years ago, my sister Grace decided that she wanted to become a nurse and enrolled at Mount St. Mary College. My mother and father became active on the Parents Advisory Council with Sister Ann. My brother-in-law, Peter, graduated with the class of 1980, played basketball here in the Mount. He practiced in what used to be called the old gym of the Dominican Sisters. And that old gym kind of used to be seated right where we are. He also practiced in what was the old Jewish Community Center, which is now Hudson Hall. So you see, many of the traditions of the Mount go back for a long period of time. And Peter was one of the first males to live in the college court as a resident student. I've worked at the college for 19 years now. This is probably my 30th commencement. Our first beginning years, we did two commencements each day. And we held them in the college theater, with many, where many of you prepared to march out. A faculty member had a great idea. How about getting a big tent? Isn't this a big tent? And let's do it all together as one big family. And that's been a wonderful co accomplishment, and that's what's brought us here today. The class of, of 2016 and I today celebrate, as their acting president, a special relationship. And I'll always remember this day, as each of you that are graduating with their masters and their bachelors will remember this very special day. I'd like to share two reflections with you before I sit down. One was something that happened to me when I was a, a senior and I was involved in student government. And the editor of the college's uh, magazine asked the student leaders, how will you define success, either now or in the future? Will you feel successful when you get that first job? Will you feel successful when you get that first job that you truly love? Will you feel successful when you meet the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with? Is being part of a loving family and having children in your definition of success? Is being a helpful person in your community involved in community service a part of your definition? Is developing a strong faith part of your definition? Is being happy part of your definition of success? Will the amount of wealth that you acquire determine whether you're successful or not? Does making a difference in some part of the world mean you are successful? Your definition might change over time but I'd encourage you to ponder that question often. My second reflection. Members of the class of 2016, you should be very proud of yourself and your classmates today. This is truly a great accomplishment. You have achieved a very difficult task that not many achieve, and you should bask in that glory for a while, but not too long. 
I hope you look back on your time at the Mount with fond memories. Whether it be way back to freshman orientation, bonfire, Mount Olympics, the nurse pinning ceremony, the time you spent at the Newburgh Armory Unity Center, participating in the Relay for Life, Habitat for Humanity, campus ministry, or just hanging out in The View, in Henry's, in the DC, in Hudson, or in the residence halls. You should be very proud of your family and friends, whether it be parents or grandparents, children, whoever supported you in being here, you should be proud of them. And I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor. Will all the members of the class of 2016 please stand up for one minute? Make sure your hands are free, because I want us to give the people that you love that are here today a standing ovation. So let's hear it for your parents, your families, your friends, all those that have supported you. And by the way, and you know this, but I will give you permission. Please sit. It's okay to say thank you to them for their investment in you, and it's okay to tell them that you love them. You should be very proud also of the friends that you have made here at Mount St. Mount St. Mary College. Whether you choose to be an inactive alum or an active alum, you are always welcome back to the Mount. You've made great relationships with classmates, with faculty members, with staff members, and I know that they would love to see you here on occasion. The thing I will ask you to do as you go out into society, to be proud of Mount St. Mary College, to be proud of yourself and your family, and we pray that you are all successful. Congratulations to the class of 2016. May God continue to bless you and all the people that share in your lives, and thank you very much for being here today.